Hello guys, this lecture is coming to you from Pedestal of Knowledge Online Maths and Physics. Please do wait to share this video after watching. Thank you. Alright, now, it says find all the solutions of x raised to power 4 minus 3x squared plus 2 is equal to 0. Alright, now it is very clear that this is a polynomial of degree 4. Now, because the highest degree of the unknown variable is equal to 4, then we are going to have four solutions. And those four solutions are known as the zeros or the roots of the polynomial. Okay, now, remember that here, x raised to power 4 can be written as x squared all squared minus 3x squared then plus 2 is equal to 0. Because x squared all squared is the same thing as x raised to power 4. So, now, from here now, we can now let, let x squared to be y, where y is an arbitrary parameter there. All right, so now that means that anywhere we see x squared in this expression, we replace it with y. So here becomes y squared minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. All right, so it is now very clear that we have reduced the polynomial from degree 4 to degree 2, which is a quadratic expression. So we can um, find the roots easily. So now, uh, from here, using factorization method, we are going to have y squared minus um, 2y minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Because minus 2y minus y will give us minus 3y. That is the modus operandi in factorization method. All right. Now, we now group it in twos. Now, because y is common here, you factor it out. We have y into what remains here is y minus what remains here is 2. Okay, now we have minus 1 into what we have here now is a y minus 2 is equal to 0. Because minus 1 times y is minus y, and minus 1 times minus 2 gives us plus 2. All right, so now we collect the factor outside the bracket as one single factor. So we have y minus 1. That is this and this. Now, into, we now pick one of the identical factors. That is a y minus 2 is equal to 0. So it then implies that y minus 1 equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0. So from here, y is equal to 1 or 2. All right. But remember, we are not asked to find the value of y. Rather, we are asked to find the values of x. So now, we now go back to this equation we have established. We say, but we know very well that x squared is equal to y from this equation. So now, when y is equal to 1, we go back here. When y is 1, so we have x squared is equal to 1. So that from here, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 which is equal to, um, uh, because the square root of 1 is 1, so we're going to have plus 1 or minus 1. All right. Now, when y is equal to 2, we go back here, it becomes x squared is equal to 2. So from here, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. And this is equal to plus root 2 or minus root 2. So, it then means that all the solutions of this polynomial are, from here, we have x is equal to, we have 1, we have the second one, minus 1, then we have the third plus root 2, and the, the last is minus root 2. So, these are the solutions of that polynomial. Thank you very much for your audience. Please don't forget to share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel.